Hey everybody, it's Matt again from You and Your Horror Movies, and welcome to part two of my end of the month haul for March of 2017. Uh, we did the DVDs, so now we're gonna get on to the Blu-rays. Again, I'm so happy I got something came in the mail today. I'm gonna show you a nice little set. Um, can't wait to show you what that comes up. But first, let's get on with the uh, A through the rest. All right, first one I found and Syracuse at Soundgarden. I've seen part one. Part one is kind of hit or miss with me. I know it's a weird creature feature, but Uwe Boll did, did it. Terror Reed, that's just horrible. But the movie itself was okay. It's watchable for me. So I picked up the sequel, which is Alone in the Dark 2. Don't know anything about it, but the Blu-ray, it's a little harder to find, and I actually found it used. So if anybody's seen part two, let me know. This one's actually got um, Lance Hendrickson in it, which is kind of neat. So, yeah. Why not? More creature features and shit like that. <clears throat> a little late to the party, but what else is new? Still came to the party. And picked up Ape. <laughs> this movie is insane. It's a King Kong ripoff. Goofy as hell when he fights the uh, shark and the snake. The funniest scene is when he fights the helicopters for the very first time. Goofy is funny as hell. Ape was fun. Uh, if you like King Kong films, like King Kong ripoffs, I got another one in here. But Ape, fun. I'm so happy that got a Blu-ray. Uh, picked up uh, Blood, The Last Vampire. This is based off a anime called Blood Sea, which I need to pick up. The Blood Sea looks pretty, I've seen some of it, and it's very gory, very bloody, which is great for an anime. Haven't seen this one yet. I found it dirt cheap. So if anybody's seen Blood, The Last Vampire, let me know. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Finally get this in from my Vestron. That's a Blood Diner. Best Buy had this on sale for 14 bucks. Couldn't pass it up. So Blood Diner, finally got that. Off the Vestron line. I think now I have them all with the new one in here too. Maybe. I <clears throat> got this for a buck. That is uh, Dark Skies. Uh, this is the combo du DVD Blu-ray pack. I uh, don't know anything much about it. Looks like an invasion alien thing. Uh, if anybody's seen Dark Skies, let me know. So for a buck, why not? Uh, finally got around picking up Blood Mania and Point of Terror. I didn't know, I forgot this is actually limited. So if you haven't thought about picking it up, if you're into limited stuff, I would recommend grabbing it, because it is limited. Uh, I think Blood Mania has had other releases before, but of course, Vinegar Syndrome puts out good stuff. So I was very happy to grab Blood Mania and Point of Terror. <laughs> Demon Seed, this movie is insane. I just watched it uh, last, no, two nights ago. I haven't seen this in years. Uh, this was a 1970s film. I remember seeing this as a kid on TV, and it was just so freaking weird. And watching it now on on Blu-ray was fantastic. The hedron slash device that's going around uh, torturing this woman and killing a person was insane. It looked like a giant sn robot snake, but it's not. It's this weird diamond thing. Insane how this robot artificial intelligence takes over the house and torments this poor woman because it wants a human baby yeah it's based off of dean Koontz book but demon seed the movie fantastic i was really shocked we got a blu-ray i'm glad it did uh next from uh vinegar syndrome again a little late oh well what else is new that is uh don't answer the phone finally grabbed this one i've heard some good things about it i think zach loves this movie so, very happy to grab Don't Answer the Phone. Usually I'm behind in a lot of films, but sooner or later I'll grab them. <clears throat> Grabbed uh, Del Toro's Don't Be Afraid of the Dark. I actually don't mind this movie. I thought it was pretty good. I need to get the original. I think the original is hard to get. Maybe. If everybody knows, let me know for sure. This one's got Guy Pearce and Katie Holmes in it. It's not bad. I actually didn't mind this remake. Uh, when I got to see... It's a slasher. I gotta pop in it at some point. From Severin, 
and that is uh, Drive-In Massacre. I pre-ordered this. I did not know it was going to be autographed, so I was very psyched to see that autographed. Um, this does think have a reversible cover art. Yeah, it's got a reverse cover art in here, but it's autographed for the front part, so I'm not going to bother with that. I love seeing the autographs on the front. <laughs> but yeah, Drive-In Massacre, haven't seen it. I almost bought it once on DVD, so I'm glad I held off. Now I have this from Severin. Thank you, Severin. This one came in the mail today, so I was very happy. Uh, I was hoping it would come in sometime soon, but I don't know, whatever. As long as it came in for, for March, so I can put in the update. <clears throat> and that is uh, Frankenstein Created Bikers. And this also has a reversible cover art. Uh, it's got some, it came with some playing cards, like baseball like cards in there. This looks insane. I can't wait to pop this in. This I got through, I think, an indigo or something. And that's the... Whoa! Fucker. I need like a third hand some days. Get the cards out. But that's the reverse cover right there. But again, this is all autographed by the cast and crew. And it's numbered. Um, out of a thousand, I got 324. If you're curious. But... Yeah, this looks insane. I can't wait to, again, pop this in. A little playing cards to throw in here. So, yeah. Frankenstein created bikers. Looks insane. All right. Another Vestron line. Finally, is the gate. I'm glad I held off on the Blu-ray that was originally put out before. It had some special features to it. I had this on DVD, but I had this artwork, the original DVD, Another bothered upgrading because I love the original artwork of this, just so freaky. And Vestron comes along and puts this out. And it has a bunch of features. If you want to pause it right there, you can see all those features. I love the gate. Awesome feature. Love this movie. I hope they put out part two. Part two needs a release. Even though the movie's not the greatest, but part two is fantastic. All right, now for the box set. Ha! <laughs> Got this from Arrow. It actually came in today too with the rain I thought my box was soaked but it was so packed well I was thank God I got a nice sigh of relief it's still sealed right now so I gotta pop it in and that is the house box set this has house one through four plus the bonus uh, booklet uh, for the US arrows only releasing part one and two screen factory owns part three which is the horror show and part four still has no release in the US. So you're not gonna get this box anywhere. So Arrow put out two versions. The US version, which only has one and two in the booklet, and the UK edition, which I have right here, has them all. I had to go for them all. I never bought the horror show from Scream Factory, so I'm glad I held off on that. And now I have all of them. The reason why I bought this version is because it's all of them. Now I have one through four on Blu-ray. Who cares? Uh, I think region, uh, no, house one and two are both region free. Three and four are not. They're region two. So just looking at the set, it's nicely huge, big box. Here you go with all the features. If you want to take a look, you can pause the video right there. So it's got a lot of interviews, cast and crew. Even with house four, it's got commentary. Uh, home Deadly Home Making of House 4, documentary featuring interviews with Louis Amberti, San S. Sean S. Cunningham, stars Terry Trace and William Catt, actor stunt coordinator Kane Hodder, uh, composer, still gallery theatrical trailer. So that's a lot for Har House Part 4. I was kind of shocked on how they did this, but of course, got to have all four. If you're going to go for the house movies, get all four of them. Now you have all of them on Blu-ray. I can't wait to open that up and watch those. I love the house movies, especially part two. Three is not the greatest, and four is awful, but the everyone loves the singing pizza. <laughs> that pizza scene. Again, another one from a, uh, a Region 2 Blu-ray. It does not have a U.S. release, but this slipcover is beautiful. Um, Derek told me about it from 88 Films. Yes, if you can read Asian, here you go. If you can't read Asian... It is pretty much the Mighty Peking Man. Get it out of the slipcover. All right. Let's first, take a look at the slipcover. This thing is beautiful. You got this all here. 
That's the back. Just beautiful that ADA Films put this out. Side. But here it is. The Mighty Peking Man. A pecking Man, whatever you want to call it. Uh, they say that this is... Um, uh, Quentin Tarantino's favorite film of all. Who knows? But this is Region 2, Region B, as you can see right there. So if you have a Region Free player, go for it. I haven't watched it yet. i got to pop it in. But it's got a little booklet to disc itself. Oh, I can't wait to watch this. I love got, uh, King Kong ripoffs. And supposedly this is going to have a lot. And, of course, right here is all your special features. Again, sorry for the uh, glare. If you can read that, I hope it comes out clear for you. If not, sorry. But yeah, the Mighty Peking Man, Peking Man, Peking Man, whatever, from 88 Films. Nice. <clears throat> Picked up uh, Prey. This is a killer lion movie. A bunch of people go on a safari, and of course the, the guy gets killed. The stepmom and the kids are trapped in this car, attacked by lions. And the husband's out there trying to save them. It's got Peter Weller in it. It's, pretty, it's actually really good. I was actually surprised how well this movie is. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Nice little body count. Some good blood. Uh, good storyline. The one teenage girl is kind of annoying, but yeah. But other than that, it was, I highly recommend checking out Prey. Good killer lion film. Upgrade, I found Primeval. Love it, another killer croc film, so I got rid of my crappy DVD. This one was dirt cheap for a brand new movie. It was like four bucks on Amazon at the time. Now it's like six. And that's Pulse. This was an upgrade for my DVD, and this looks fantastic on Blu-ray. I was shocked how well the uh, transfer is on this. There is no uh, special features or anything. Uh, Mill Creek put it out, but it's great. Alien entity or whatever, living electricity, starts invading houses, makes people go nuts and kill each other, but it torments this family. Great film. I decided to grab these two because... I don't think they'll ever be in a box set with the rest of the films. And it's pretty much uh, Resident Evil Damnation and Resident Evil Degeneration. And these are the animated Resident Evil movies. Now, if you think about it, when you play, if you ever played Resident Evil, you have the big cutscenes, then it goes into the play, then the cutscenes. Think of these as a long cutscene. It's all, they're a movie that feels like a cutscene. They look like, just like the animation from... Uh, video games, which was actually really well done. Pretty cool storylines. Uh, the box sets that are already out don't have these in them, so I figured if the la supposedly this last movie comes out to do a box set, I bet you these won't be on them. But they were like five to three bucks, so I decided to grab them. At some point, I might grab the rest of the uh, Resident Evil movies. Right now, I just have the one and the animated animation ones, and the animation ones were decent. Uh, from SRS Cinema, I got Root of Darkness. Uh, also comes with some other films as well. Uh, Die... Z I don't know, it's some German film I can't pronounce. Zombgarger? Yeah. And Dragonaut, the Ruthless Contract Killer. Oh, it's German uh, splatter movies. Uh, low budget, I think shot on video. Came with a poster in there. It's two discs, DVD and Blu-ray. These are plast B pressed Blu-ray R's. But just the artwork alone looks pretty cool. I heard it's like a cool creature feature. So I'll give that a watch. Picked it up. Survival of the Dead. Don't own it. So you know, grab it. Picked up uh, Unfriended. I got this dirt cheap. I watched it. It was actually decent. I liked how the premise of it is. All done on Skype. And you're just looking at the computer monitor. Well done. I like the storyline. The Valley of Guanji. Yes, this actually got a Blu-ray release. It's like a western meets dinosaur film. Starts off kind of slow. Then when they finally get to the dinosaurs near the end, it's decent. That was fun. Love the midget. <laughs> uh, the last of the Vestrons, which is the Wishmaster collection. Part 1 and 2 are fantastic. 3 and 4 are horrible. So this is the only way you can get them all together. Uh, it's got some com all the uh, of them have special features to it, which I thought was pretty cool that Vestron did. But I think if they just did it as Wishmaster one and two, it'd been fine. But now I got them all. Why not? Some completionists will be loving that. 
Witch Trap. Love Witch Trap. I just watched this last night. Uh, fantastic, uh, cheesy 80s film, 1989. Paranormal investigators go in to debunk this house, and of course, the evil spirit is picking them off one at a time. Great. I loved it. And last, I did this on a um, body bags review. Comes to you from Back Isle Video, also known as Legless Corpse. This is a cheesy name alone. The artwork, the cover art is horrible, and that's called Zombie Cats from Mars. Yes. It's actually got a high body count, um, some bad blood here and there, but again, the cover art looks like a kid's movie. It is not a kid's movie. Uh, alien, it's a killer cat movie, pretty much. Low budget. So yeah, Zombie Cats from Mars. Just the title alone. All right, guys, that is part two for my end of the month haul for my Blu-rays for March of 2017. Uh, I'd like to hear your thoughts down below, guys, so please put on your comments in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. You guys have yourself a good weekend. Peace.